In this example, we're going to be looking at the boiling point of each of these molecules. We're going to compare the London dispersion forces, their hydrogen bonds, or dipole-dipole forces. The same stuff we learn in general chemistry. And we're going to apply these same concepts to figure out which of these has the highest boiling, boiling point, which one has the lowest. So the first thing we want to look at is H bonds. If you can find H bonds, that is really useful. Then you want to look at linear molecules versus branched. So if you're linear, you have more surface area. So you have more London dispersion forces, therefore you have a higher boiling point. And that's pretty much the two things we're going to be looking at right here. So if we look at these molecules, which of them have hydrogen bonds? Well, if you have an OH group, then you almost most certainly have hydrogen bonds. So in these three molecules, we have hydrogen bonds. Now, which one has the most amount of hydrogen bonds? Well, this one, because it has two OHs, two hydroxides, one on each side. So we're gonna put this at one. It has the highest boiling point. Now, compare these two. You have a linear molecule with hydrogen bonds versus the branched one. Linear has more surface area, so it's gonna be ranked at number two. Also, this one's branched, so it's three. Now, looking at these last two, they have no hydrogen bonds, purely London dispersion forces. They're completely nonpolar. Now, which one is more, uh, has a higher boiling point? Well, this one's a linear molecule versus a branched molecule. Since this is linear, it has more surface area, therefore this is gonna have a higher boiling point than this one. And that's really all there is to it. So, boiling point is pretty simple.